There's Borland, five on the shot clock, and a recognized Collier pull up. Well, they average 76 possessions per game. Uh, the next closest team down in the mid to upper 60s in the conference. Cunningham, just a little mid range jumper. This Long is Lake. Yeah. Collier driving by David Wall and scores. Well, here's the new Oregon State. I mean, this is a team that wants to push it. You said earlier they're amongst the nation's leaders in scoring average, averaging more than 80 points a game. It's a different look from Craig Robinson this year, and he says that's the one I always wanted. He said that's the style of play when he first came and he talked about playing. He just didn't have the personnel to do so. Now he's got his type of players, and as you mentioned, 80. 2.7 points, that's six in the nation, six in assists at almost 18 a game. They get to the free throw line, do, do a terrific job of that, and defensively, they come up with the pilfers, with the steals as, as good as anybody in the country. The Beavers here, UCLA dead in the water right now. You know it's not going to stay that way. Cutting half to the pistol. Another thing, Craig Robinson, we talked about that Princeton offense. This is kind of a hybrid of the Princeton offense, but he loves a good passing big man in the middle. Vernon Nelson in the game, so is Joe Burton for Oregon now. Grant got in the air, good defense. Nelson, long tray, ring That's the guy you got to get to. You have to rotate to Roberto Nelson. He and Ahmad Stark are the three-point threats in this lineup. Hey, okay, what they're doing now does make sense. Here's Roberto Nelson. Drop it down for Collier. Collier worked on by Travis Ware. Tries to spin move on it. Double touch count at one. I'll tell you what he did. And that's, a, that's almost like a pro style move where when you come back on the spin, you actually take your arms up and initiate the contact on Travis Ware. Watch right there. Takes his arms and body into Travis Ware as he's elevating. That's right. Sit down, enjoy the game. It's a big family. Eight kids in that family. That's Roberto Nelson off the baseline. He's a streak shooter. If he gets it going, yeah. look out. Jeremy Anderson and Zarek Jones got a good job there. Turnover, they got numbers four on one down the middle. Collier. Oregon State has really put a premium on playing defense. Again, they're last in the conference in a lot of different categories, but doing a great job with their pressure. And then Big Joe Burst, he of the turquoise shoes. UCLA stay in zone. Joe Burt, that's two big bodies. Burton with a nice touch off the window. The wear of twins, they're just great activity at the offensive end, and again, the instinct, the basketball instinct. Yeah. The basketball. And Stark somehow got that to go in. That was one of those, no, no, nice shot. They fade away from 5'9", Ahmad Starks, since Reeves Nelson has no longer been a part of this basketball program. Nice pass down low that time, and Grant with the finish. Very unselfish play by the Beavs. Mr. Craig Robinson felt that if he could keep Jones quiet in this game and put the pressure on these other players to score some points consistently. Brandt at the free throw line from Burton. And he was the one guy that he told uh, Charlie's father he wanted his son to play for. Brandt, turn around. Angus! <laughs> yeah. Angus doing work inside, the Australian. Back up top to Jones, 10 on the shot clock. That's a good defensive backcourt for Oregon State. Behind his back, Jones all the way to the basket, lost the handle, knocked away by Cunningham. Great job defensively, and a nice job by Josh Smith coming up to set the emancipation pick. Josh Smith down, now Cunningham. Got to get, try and pick up a foul on Josh Smith. You got a nice isolation situation. Stepped underneath nicely. And then Josh Smith not aggressively going for a block. Didn't want to pick up that second foul before the first half ends. Plenty of time, 135 remaining here in the first half. This is Starks. Get in amongst the trees. Now leaves it for Nelson. Nelson to Collier the basket. Nice, nice unselfish job. And that's the chemistry of this team that's a lot different than the past couple of years that Derek Robinson first took over with the holdovers. A high ball screen, flattened out on the baseline. Let Jared Cunningham make a play. They leave it for Starks up top to Brandt. Brandt, the rainbow train! Got time to get off a good one after UCLA. Good job, Joe Burton. And that almost got there, but the Beavers will take a one-point lead in at halftime on the three-point shot by Angus Brandt. UCLA's trying to do offensively, but you don't really mind it because he's trying to find some type of offensive rhythm. Speaking of offensive rhythm, 
That was a tough shot. That was a step back floater over a 6'10 wear defender by 5'9 Ahmad Starks. Got nine on the shot clock here. Good defensive set by the Bruins right now. Cunningham, no place to go. Going up to Morley. Got to recognize two on the shot clock. Turn around in the lane. Banks it home. <laughs> I heard him call it. Yeah, yeah, but you didn't see that his eyes were closed when he did. <laughs> the both teams continue to shoot it very well. Collier all the way to the basket, off balance, couldn't finish. Followed by, or rather, a rebound by Moreland, and a jump hook by Brown. Hey! The Lamb spins in as a block by Moreland out of bounds. Again, Tyler Lamb trying to find something to start making himself feel better about his game offensively, kind of forces the issue. Starks behind the screen. That's a tough shot. Well, that's just great transition basketball. That's that secondary break action. Starks brings it up right side. Eric Morland, which you mentioned, Brett Berry, the high screen. Ralph Miller played in high scoring, but that was in comparison to Dr. Naismith. Yeah, that one four offensive set that uh, Ralph Miller was so popular for. Nice job, Angus Brent just through, overpowering David Ware down on the post. Brad has 13. UCLA 2-3 zone defense with Josh Smith on the floor. Smith is kind of patrolling the paint. You don't have to worry about ball screens out on the perimeter. Cunningham, good one for three. You got to worry Jay. about it. Travis Ware being able to get there in time and to contest that shot. Here are the Bruins, two on two. Travis Ware. Lost it again. Starks comes away with it. Starks to the cutting Collier to the basket. Oregon State tempo. Again, this is Oregon State's tempo. And if you're 6'10, the, the way you negate that size advantage, bring the ball down to 5'9 Ahmad Starks there to steal, gets him out in transition. Middle to your playmaker. That time, Zeke Jones matched up against Joe Burton. That's a matchup. Zeke Jones should win every time out on the floor. They went and tried to go inside out. Starks, mm. another oh, off balance shot. He's making me believe that he can, he can, he can make that shot. Yeah, I always thought you had to get your feet set, but uh, obviously I'm wrong. Here come the Bruins. They'll push it. They have numbers three on two. Picks up a loose ball and loses it to Stark. Starks ahead to Cunningham. Look out! There it is. Absolutely. Last time out with 11:36 to go. Joe Burton again, Burton going to put it on the floor, drive goes back door, pass to Collier, a great delivery and a nice finish. It may be 280, but he plays pretty gingerly every now and then. I shoot it like Bird, I rebound like Barkley, I pass like Magic. Offensively, they play with a high level of efficiency. And Roberto Nelson has the shot blocked, but Collier is right there to pick him up. Collier with 20 in the ball game. Cunningham will clear out. One on one with Jones to the basket. A big time move. That's a big time move for Jared Cunningham. Great job on the spin, but even more impressive to, to get it up and over Anthony Stover. Oregon State executes here so since they've slowed it, the game down. It's going to be a huge factor in determining who wins this game. If they can hold on to this six point lead. Here's Starks. Good luck for three. Huge shot. Huge shot by Starks. Good offense. Give it up. Bury yourself down on the baseline. Get a, get a down screen. Is there Jones? Too slow fighting through. Too slow in the contest. Got to be smart. You don't want to foul. Jeremy Anderson. The basket uncontested. Smartly so by the Bruins. David Ware. And that's going to do it. And Oregon State is going to win this game and beat the Bruins for the first time in 14 tries. Right now, Craig Robinson is with Rebecca Harlow. Coach, your offense firing all night long, but you were so passionate in the last 30 seconds of this ball game. What did your team need to understand about closing? Well, we hadn't been here in a long time, and we wanted to make sure we didn't foul them, and we executed our side, which was making foul shots, getting rebounds, and keeping them from making those long kind of bank threes. Now that you've got the win, how significant was it that you write the ship tonight? Really important. I mean, you know, we, we, we've been through a lot. Those two overtime games took a lot out of us. And then, you know, Saturday was a tough game, a first game where we didn't play a good half. 
So this game was really important in front of all these fans and for those guys in the locker room. All right, thanks so much, Coach. Thanks, Rebecca. Oregon State does it with their up-tempo offense, mixing and matching on defense. They get it done with a solid win on both sides tonight.